Hey, what's up everybody? Penn here. So in this video, it's just going to be a Q&A addressing a comment from my last um, tutorial with the LG OLED, you know, combined with the Windows 11 HDR calibration tool. So one of the gentlemen asked how to set your TV to 120 hertz. Now, he says he has a 120 hertz model. If he was commenting under an OLED video, specifically the model that I have, I can only assume that he has the same model as myself. Now, with the LG C2, it comes with four HDMI 2.1 ports. So, with that, you know, of course, a port will be dedicated to eARC. You know, for those of you that's in the sound bars, um, things like that, or any other audio equipment that you like to plug, regardless of their HDMI 2.1. So that gives you the ability to run natively 4K at 120 Hertz with the option of HDR. Now, well, one of the things that I showed in the video was setting up your NVIDIA control panel. So really to access it, um, you can right click on your desktop. In Windows 10, you know, it's a little bit easier. In Windows 11, you gotta do show more options and then you can just bring up the control panel from there. So I have it here pulled up. And really the big thing here, honestly, is on the left side where you see change resolution, you're gonna wanna do this. So for one, my OLED is titled LG Electronics LG TV SS CR2. It's going to say G Sync compatible. That's how I know that's my television. And for one, it has TV in the you know in the description of the icon. So you want to pick the right display for one, especially if you're working with multiple displays such as I am. Number two, it says choose the resolution. Now. This is also under the assumption that you have your drivers up to date, you know, your software within your clients up to date for Windows, things of that nature. But more importantly, um, you're going to want to choose the 3840 by 2160. You see there's PC and then there's something called Ultra HD. So choosing the Ultra HD the native way, you're locked to 60 hertz. To prove that, and this is just by doing it this way, it goes up to 60 hertz. What you want to do is go down to the PC resolutions and you want to go to 3840 by 2160. Now you have up to 120 hertz. That's what the LG C2 OLED goes up to, you know, that what it supports that. And I have an option for 100 hertz or 120 hertz. I don't even have a 60 hertz option here. So obviously I'm going to choose the, the highest option because if you watch my breakdown tutorial, I break down the hardware and the software to where you're able to be successful in both aspects. So that's how you set it. And this should be available in your NVIDIA control panel. Really, if you have a HDMI 2.1 graphics card, such as a RTX 3080 in my case, along with a HDMI 2.1 compatible television, like the LG C2 in my case, you're going to see these options. Now, another thing that comes down to is your HDMI cable. I use Ruri Pro. Um, I'm sponsored by them. But before that, I was using um, fiber, things of that nature. Um, I still have those cables. Mainly, you're just going to want to research the HDMI 2.1 certification. Um, they can range from very affordable to a little expensive, you know, as you're going to be browsing the catalog. Uh, the main thing is to do your own research. I'm going to recommend Ruri Pro because out of the box, they're built for that home theater aspect and they meet all of the major features that the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and any modern day PC gamer um, that's going to want to get the best out of their cable 
they meet all those specifications. So of course I'm going to recommend Ruby Pro because that's who I'm rocking with. But as far as choosing your own cable within your own budget, you're just going to have to do research. Now, if any of you want me to do a separate video on what HDMI cables you should be considering or to purchase, just let me know down in the comments. Um, I'll be happy to assist you in that department. I have no issues. It's just that in terms of the software setup, the NVIDIA control panel is very powerful. And if you just pay attention to the PC versus the Ultra HD, you're going to be noticing some major differences. And you're going to want to be under the PC department nine times out of 10. So that's what you're going to have to do. Now, if you have any more questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Until next time, peace out. This is Penn Sign Out. Thank you for watching.